When we look back at 5,000 years of art in Pakistan, Gandhara civilization truly stands apart. Situated on the crossroads of ancient trade routes, Gandhara was the melting pot of civilization and cultures in the true sense of the term. Many conquerors came through this region, including Alexander the Great, followed by the Mauryan dynasty. It was the time of Mauryan Emperor Ashoka, in which the Buddhism truly flourished in this region and beyond, followed by the Bactrians and Parthians, who brought Greek influence to this region, which later on influenced the cultural fabric of this region under the reign of the Kushan dynasty. sculpture of Buddha dates back to the 2nd century AD. It's sculpted in a black rock called the schist. At the first glance, it looks like typical depiction of Buddha in art form. But if we look closely, it's a reflection of cultural diversity of that era. The rope is draped like it was done for the Roman emperors. And the halo represents the divinity of Buddha. The elongated ears of Buddha are based on the 32 Lakshanas based on the Buddhist scriptures. It is very interesting to note here that before Indo-Greek era, the depiction of Buddha in art was only iconic, using dharma wheel or lotus flower. It was only in Bactrian and Kushan dynasty that Buddha was depicted in human form, based on 32 Lakshanas given in the Buddhist scriptures. Pakistan is the birthplace of Gandhara art. We have an exquisite collection of sculptures and archaeological sites across the country for the world to come and witness the artistic marvels of ancient civilizations.